up, dude. Oh my God, it's Rusty Buncher. Coming in hot, baby. Dude, cut that out. Whoa, man. Coming in hot, baby. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be hot today, but we're gonna get out early and, and enjoy it. Born free morning. Welcome back to the vlog. We got Galen showing up, two lane life crew. And we're about to head down and enjoy the day. Follow along for the ride. Oh, uh, who shows up with no gas? Okay. Oh, come on. Full tank, baby. You always show up to a ride with a full tank of gas. Come on now. What time is it? It's 7.50 something. We woke up early. We all met up at about seven to kind of beat the heat. It's gonna be a hot day in California. I just took you guys through Hollywood and then we went through downtown LA. Technically Santa Fe Springs. Santa That's Fe right. Springs, Juan's hometown. Picking him up, how much further till we get to uh, Born Free? 25 miles, a lot of freeway. It's <laughs> just straight freeway, it's pretty whack. We'll get there, show you guys the show. Let's have a great day. See if she starts. What's up? I was, uh, I was enjoying the weather while we uh, could because it was about to get hot. We're inside the Silverado Cafe, just about a mile away from Born Free. Born Free doesn't even open for like another hour or something like that. We would like to get down here early and uh, kind of beat the heat, be the first ones in. Breakfast and a beer. We gotta have a beer this morning. Break it in. We gotta have a beer, you hear that? No, it's almost 10 o'clock. You guys ready to go to Born Free? Born, born what? Ooh, born Free. I was telling the story, so I don't ever ride in shorts. I don't like riding in shorts because I feel like, like anytime I do something happens. So last night, boys got the pickup truck because they're setting up over here at Born Free. I'm leaving and, and I'm in shorts. And I shit you not, I mean, I'm 500 feet down the road. Beef flies up my shorts, gets me damn near up to my ass. I'm at the next stoplight, kickstands down, I'm dancing around, all these people are looking at me like. What happened when I, you got what? home? I broke the stinger off, then I get home, it's, you I mean it hurts. I fly into the garage. 
garage, pants are down, I'm yelling at the wife, she's coming down, she's hitting my ass with a credit card, trying to scrape the, <laughs> the stinger out, but the stinger's in there. But aren't, aren't you a... Ladies and gentlemen, that's Luke Leatherman of Fueling Parts. Let's go get the day started. All they needed was a little mud to take the stinger out. Like, what are you doing? You grow up. I thought I'd stung the wrong part, and your wife was really happy. <laughs> <laughs> you ready, yeah, boys? Buddy. Yes, sir. A couple beers. Let's go. I'm gonna. Yeah. You know what? I taught my kid. You throw a tennis ball at him and then turn the shoulder, take it in the. What do you? This is what you guys talk about? <laughs> what else you want to talk about, man? This is life. This is real life. Free Let's Sturgis. go check out the motorcycle show. Let's go do it. Okay. Come here for the beer or the bikes? Uh, the beer for sure. It's going up fast. Bikes are pulling in right after Woo! us. It's already getting hot out, and uh, they just opened up. Look at this. Look at all these people rolling in. Bikes for days. Beautiful Southern California. Have some fun. What's up? So I hear you got a, a custom prototype. Lowrider ST. Made 15 of these to even have around the country. I'm honored so to be called. When, when the cool kids get it, the cool kids get it. And so here we are in your territory. Yours, my it. friend. Look at that. Let's go test this out. Let's I just rode on. like 65 miles on the freeway here on the stock windshield. I'm going to ride home with this beautiful windshield. Let's get it. Come I can't on. even bring the hype. I can't even do what they do. It's so fun for me. This is the first time we've ever displayed, ever had a booth at Born Free. But to come here and hand out Christmas presents, it's the best. I'll never be Santa Claus. I can't do it. That's right. <laughs> Merry Christmas. It's Young Don, man. We hanging out with Thrash and this shit, you know? That's now I fuck with them both equally, man. That's hey, right. Hey, man, it's from the Bay. We came out all the way from the Bay. You already know. No way. All right. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, Watch y'all say what's up. Hell yeah. yeah. Oh my god, it's Rusty Butcher! What's up, Paul? Oh my god! Mike's running out of gas right now. What's going on, man? How are you, bro? Yeah, I'm great. Good to see you. Let's go get that thing installed. I'm waiting for a tool. Wow, we got the man himself <laughs> taking it off. That's because somebody's got to do the work here, right? Yeah. We're, we're bringing our traditional hip and the flip to the top of it. This is the first run, version 1.0. So just like when I made my first 8-inch Road Glide windshield back in 2006, we took to Bonneville. This is the first ever Lowrider ST. So all you people who want it taller, wider, longer, different colors, I'll get to you, okay? We gotta start somewhere. You and one. All right, let's get it. Come on. Was one like a redheaded midget or what? Yeah. Oh, Wait, where are you right. going? Get in this. Right. Let's get one. Thanks for saying what up. What's up? Nice. All right. Are you guys tag teaming this thing? Kinda. You gonna keep molesting that thing or put no. it on my bike? Hey, it's shady over here. We're kind of enjoying it. We're old, okay? Back off, kid. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. Woo, look at that thing. It already looks better. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Just if you're coming out there. to SoCal, you gotta be a born free, you gotta break out some new shit. Heath, did. this is Brian Clark. Yeah. He knows, come on. Hey, we got punch things. <laughs> we do. Loving this thing. That is true. Can't wait to ride it home and feel the wind. Yeah. Or, or not feel the wind, I guess you would say. He's actually gonna do a road test because he rode here with stock and he's riding home with a custom clockwork. That's right. A treasure trove of stuff for my geeky glide. All the moves and all the floods and all the remodels, all of a sudden the guys come to me yesterday and go, Hey, there's a box here that has all this thrash and stuff in it. I go, put it right on the showroom floor next to my motorcycle. That's for my bike. 
They're like, what? I go, yeah, I've had it for probably a year, and I can't find it. I go, so now I know where it is. Shine works, and you're the man. Thank you yeah. so much. Appreciate it. Oh, this this seems to be much better wind deflection. I'll be able to sit up more proper and uh, not have the wind hitting my face. What's up, dude? are way cooler than CBs. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, yeah, right. That's what I've been saying the whole yeah. time. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. This guy says he'd rather a Honda CB over a Triumph. No. You're it's tripping. Definitely not what are you talking about? That thing is bad. Fine. XR750 Road Race. Seems sick, dude. Yeah. Comment below if Thrashin should buy this. You know, the funny thing about it is that early on in the Thrashin days, I, I talked to some people about backflipping a Harley. Uh, no way. Yeah, was and it I was even talking to Roland about it, like teaming up with him. The whole time, like, I'm pretty sure it was like, Luke or somebody was like, dude, just buy XR7. an OG XR750. They're like 400 pounds. That's what Evil Knievel used to jump in. Yeah, it's closer to like a dirt bike. Just put nice suspension on it and flip it. Like sick, dude. I'm a, I'm, a li I'm a little too retired, old and washed back, up for that. Dude. It's a sea of bikes and porta potties. <laughs> <laughs> But your, but your photo says, your shirt says no photos, please. No, yeah, yeah, I'll do a selfie. He comes up to us, he says he wants a photo, but look at his shirt. The irony of your shirt, man, I love it. <laughs> Thanks for the photo. I have you guys' uh, risers on there, bars, risers, the pullbacks, the mini floorboards. Yeah. I wish I, I wish I would have got them sooner. Oh, They're yeah. worth it. Road, it, man. road 500 miles. I love them. Hell yeah. Look great, dude. Homie, when we pulled in like an hour ago, <laughs> this was empty. Whoa. Look, you guys find the booth and you're already drinking. Beer 30. I feel like it's Galen's fault. Always me. Wow, that's Look at that. What's up? Oh, all right. Cheers. Cheers. Look, hey, fueling cam plates for cooler temps. <laughs> Cheers, boys. We stopped by our buddies at Speed Kings. Juan just checked out how they had our exhaust. They did some custom fab to it to make a, a sick kind of billet one-off bracket on a thrash and AR system in this FXR. Steve over at Speed King has always been rad. He uh, runs a lot of our parts. Here's our adjustable bagger brake arm on his road glide. He's got our minus one inch shifter arm over here. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to the support, Steve. Oh, it's not even a Honda, it's a Suzuki. <laughs> you just like the four cylinder motorcycles. Yeah, I know. That's what I said, Triumphs are way better. Yeah, yeah right. All right, Juan. What's up? We've been here for a couple hours. We're headed towards the mosh pit. Are you jumping in? Let's go, let's do it. All right, let's go check it out. Check it out. So what? 
living was good enough at the restaurant? Nah, we need, we need to hit a better spot. We got to the front and you're like, all right, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to find a better place. He's gonna be out. He's a taco man. I always watched the, uh, you guys thrashing up and down the, yeah. on the coast. I'm kind of local too. Taco man. I show these guys about all the real tacos. Right. Yeah. And I remember, don't. It, it's better to go to Malibu Seafood. It's yeah. better. Yeah. It's, it's a lot better, yeah, yeah. for sure. There you go. People love the taco taco stops. Well, every, yeah, every video is like, I'm hungry. It's like 12 o'clock. We gotta go eat. There you go. <laughs> taco so, guy. Taco yeah. Guy. So last year when you came here, were you noticed this much? Oh, not at all. I wasn't noticed at all. So what? now the vlogs have been killing it. Thank you guys to everyone that came and said what's up to me, Juan. Guys are going up to my dad. Thank you guys for making the experience rad. We're super stoked you guys love the vlogs. And it's rad to see all the parts and all the accessories from Thrashin' on all the bikes here. I'm ready to go, I mean, it's been great. What's up, you boys ready to go? I'm ready, just fueling up for the oh, ride. Shit. Man, yeah, enough yeah. super fans, bro, are you ready to go? Let's go, bro, <laughs> yeah! Wanna get back out on the road? It's getting a little hot. Get the knees in the breeze and uh, go have some lunch. Let's get it. I woke up early to clean my bike and it just got fucked. And you had the grass pass, bro. Yeah. Imagine the people that parked out in the dirt lot. Oh, they're fucked. <laughs> hey, are we getting out of here? We're trying. Yeah, Juan. We were, I know Juan. We were, we were watching you guys, like, we watched oh, you your emailed me. I was asking oh, yeah. about yeah. some uh, the bar setups for the road lot. You probably get a million fucking questions today, but, uh, <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, it's, like, so crazy. Like, you guys uh, we, don't, we don't shake in. Trying to get out of here, go have some lunch. Always gotta say what up when we see people that want to say hi. What are you dismounting yes. your bike though? They wanted a photo. Right. Thank you. Bryce came. These two old men. Look at how nice Juan is. Everyone's pulling out. Juan's over there showing customers parts right now. Fucker. He shut me off. Then he put my emergency blinkers on. What kind of crew is this? Maybe he'll buy you in and out. Juan. Let me run it by my boss. <laughs> what do you think? In and out? Is that a good choice? Yeah, there let's run it back. In and out. Hell yeah. Call me. What do you think? I'm, I'm down with in and out. Oh, First place nice. you pointed out. I think it was your peg. I hit my... your peg. Did you? Yeah. I wanted to run up on him. <laughs> like I was going to knock his ass over. He didn't realize. He twice has stopped me today. He didn't realize it was off and he gave a gas. I know, I saw him. I just rubbed. And the hazards were on the whole fucking way. Did you ruin your bike? No, I just rammed him with my crash bar. That's what they're there for. Yeah. Knocked you guys heard of that? In. He rammed me. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, cut that out, man. Nothing like some good in and out. Are you getting what are we doing? Are we really eating this? I kind of had this for dinner last night. How could the taco guy have this? Sheesh. Look at that. California style, baby. Uh, Look at that. I got myself a number one, baby. I'll think about sharing. Chewing you. Look at that. What's this one? Uh, I'm gonna go find a beer somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Well, this time. Simple. I live close to where we rode, so I'm gonna be home in like 15 minutes. You got like an hour. There you heard it. We had a blast at Born Free. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. We got to see a lot of you, handshakes, and uh, say what's up, say thank you. We enjoyed it, we had a blast. 
We just had in and out. Now we're about to uh, head home, enjoy the rest of our day. Peace.